And the Blue Devils with the first possession of the game. Big, they are much smaller at virtually every position. And they will play out on the perimeter. They take a ton of threes and make a ton of threes as Kayvon Allen knocks down the first one. He's been struggling from cutting their ability to drive and knock down perimeter shots. Rulichov keeps the dribble alive, finds Chris Chioza, who had a magnificent game in the double overtime win over Gonzaga, and lays it in to make it 5 nothing Gators. Grayson Allen counters at the other end. Excellent, but, but unable to convert so far. Hudson for three. They are not shy at all about pulling the trigger. Jalen. Bagley guarding Stone. Hudson turns the corner, lays it in. And they are really spreading to quick outlet, and they're up the floor. Kulichov fouled and finishes. How about that? Igor Kulichov. Duke people. I'm a Duke guy. Uh, we're all in. Of course, uh, when he became about 10, I was helpless. So it was over for me. But uh, but for, as it relates to these kinds of things, no trash. Tied for Bagley. 10 on the shot clock. Bagley spins inside, too strong, tip no good, and a second opportunity for Javon Delorier will go to. Some of that is against weaker opposition, but the Gators, if they're on, they can light you up. Now, it is not an accident that they're scoring over 100 points. Duke's not used to these big guys, especially the freshmen, are not used to guarding out of that three-point line. Bagley from Grayson Allen. Delorier may be asked for big minutes tonight with Carter on the bench with a couple of fouls. Bolden with the left hand. We're going to be seeing this all night. And Florida's already made four threes in this game in six attempts. They got a wide open look here. And they got another one. Allen with yet another three and a big smile on his face as he gets back down the court. They were down eight to Portland State. Trailed at the half, one by 18. O'Connell knocks down a three. They were down 60. Maybe had the play of the game against Texas. A save on a ball going out of bounds. Got it back in it eventually. They hit a three on that trip that had a spear ahead of their comeback. Nice follow there by Bagley. Didn't move the ball. They can stretch him. Got blocked. Bagley got a piece of the Hudson shot. Save though. Shot clock doesn't reset. Chioza the kick. And the baseline jumper good for DeAndre. He's all back into the game to the point now for Duke. Trent's out there as well. Bagley. Skies and lays it in. Third just kept it there. The heck of an option. No look pass from Chioza to get. Chris Chioza <laughs> is such a good guard. That stone on him down low. Bagley will take a three and knock it down. Every time he touches the ball, he's such a threat. It's not as quick of a team. And we can see Duke stay in the zone the rest of the night. They've been playing a lot of it. Another three. Oh, no, a long two, they say. A long two for Ballard from the corner. Back in. Remember, he's got two fouls. Grayson Allen's got Jalen Hudson on him. What a play by Trayvon Duvall. Great cut and great finish. Football coaches than, than perhaps others? That's probably true. That uh, that uh, we've uh, in, in basketball is our biggest category. And uh, that I, uh, we started basketball real now. A five-point game. Have you had a chance to visit with any of the coaches who have been here in Florida? Yeah, we had a, uh, a dinner with the coaches last night, and they all came and just had a great time. Uh, basketball player. I didn't. Uh, I didn't even try out in college. So uh, <laughs> that uh, I know that I, I'm in the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame, which I didn't I know they had a uh, contributor category. For, and they told me that I thought they'd made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Gary Trent Jr. is heating up, and he's got the Blue Devils back in this game. It's now turned into a few years ago. Are you still expanding your horizon? Yeah, we, we're kind of getting more all the time. That uh, you know, lacrosse is growing, and uh, you know, we've become uh, did high you school did. broadcasting. Oh. Yeah, Phil Knight, the voice of KBPS, Morton Public Schools. You want to take a shot at it? No. <laughs> <laughs> that one was easy. All you had to Florida, the championship game of the motion bracket here at the PK80. And we are joined by Phil Knight for this segment. And, boy, Coach K might make you stay here if he thinks you're a good luck yeah. show. almost had another one there. Grace Allen and Gary Trent have been 5 of 5. So Duke 7 of 12 from 3 now. Trent with two more. The way, you know, Wi-Fi, whatever, found a way to get some, some video, saw Kulichov play, then called them back and said, yeah, I think you'll fit in pretty nicely with us. They got to know each other better, and that's the beginning of the play. <laughs> How about that rebound by Marvin Bagley III? How that about that pass by Chioza? Well, if you let you turn it. Chioza got the switch. He's got Bagley on him. 
Pull up over him. Got it. What a confident play there by Chioza. Now the Gators getting hot. Just first. Kulich off for three. And nobody underneath for Duke. Chioza lays it back in. They're a little slow in getting back. But final minute of what's been an outstanding first half. Allen with a shot fake and a wide open look at it. He knocks down the three. Poor decision by Chris Chioza to try to take away that elbow pass. He put it in the corner. Chioza driving into the chest of Bagley. Creates a little space and lays it in. You think Atkins in the half. Wait, how much better is the SEC this year? Oh. Florida's legit. Hudson. Yes! And a, an outstanding Good look by Florida on the last one, but it's difficult to shoot over these Duke big guys. They do make things difficult on you. And Hudson now with a double figures. Is and Chioza got past him, but those long arms made up the difference. Bagley at the other end. Out of play. Yep. And I called Mike Rhodes, who was his coach at Rice. Boy, how good is that? Just bumping back. And Marvin Bagley looking for the cut. Oh, if you've got any ideas, you can come into the locker room at halftime with us. A pass. And a finish by Hudson. Well, Chris Chioza is a great college point guard. That pass right past that left arm of his. And it's this. But I saw Kevin Love do that, and it's the, one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. The Laurier absorbs the contact and banks it in. He a turnover, and Delorier is out ahead of the pack. Delorier can be an impact defender. He's already gotten a steal at the elbow. He'll settle it down, still 12 on the shot clock. But Chioza is quick, isn't he? We're going to go right by Allen. And then Kulachov there to finish. Chioza a little bit slow to... Allen. Fail. Hudson there with a chance for three. Boy, Florida just quicker to the ball and the spread. That's with the transfer from Virginia Tech. Some tough ones, hasn't he? And it's been made tough on him by Chris Chioza. Hudson pulls up. Two of his teammates were still in the backcourt. One of the few times he made a slow move. And the pull up at the free throw line is there for Ballard, who hasn't the middle. Kakaru, a freshman from Raleigh, is into the game. This is Hudson with the left hand, and the lead grows to 15. I watched him in tape. I was really impressed when they played their first two games here, but they're better than I thought. Duval with a corner three. Out. Made three of his five threes. Pull up by Hudson. Falls in, puts it back. What a great play by Jalen Hudson. Carter spins. Lays it in, his first field goal of the night. In the game, swings it to an open stone, drives down the lane, and gets it to go. That's a really nice drive by Keith Stone. Bagley. Underneath Carter, and another bucket for Carter. But both these guys can really pass. Trent, into traffic, forced it up, followed by Bagley. And a single pass. Hudson. Two more for Hudson. He's got 24. They can score. Six to shoot. Allen for three. Duval there on the weak side. And a timeout taken by Mike Krzyzewski. Top blockers are changing a lot of things near the rim. Great fake. Allen. Got it. Carter on Allen. Allen drives him, floats it up over him and in. Boy, what a beautiful drive by Kayvon Allen. To stay down. Boy, that was a great rebound by Gary Trent. Carter, no call. Bagley the finish. Went down where there's absolutely no call at all. Very fortunate there for Duke. Could have nullified a bat. They've taken from Florida and still with the opportunity. And, and they're the lead. Have to imagine Duke's going to switch some of these. And they're switching just about everything. Hudson lost it. And a foul. Trent trying to dribble some of the time away. Head. Makes the first. Boy, two big, big free throws. Chioza. Long pass. Kick out Kulichov. And Duke's going to win it. For the third game in a row, they overcome a deficit in the second half. And they are the champions of the motion bracket here at the PK-80.
in Portland. 87-84 in a great game, a game of runs that saw the Blue Devils make the run at the end. A pace is just like I'm a waiter. And I ain't got no time for haters. I reach by my belt and shoot it like I'm in the Navy. Bitch, I eat my shrimp and steak and gravy.